to put up a thing on Facebook, extras being extra. And I'm filming her on the screen and I'm talking like, ooh, look at me. I'm in the scene. I got over 20 million views on that on Facebook. Dang. You, know you had I mean? monetized? Yeah. Oh, I made a, a fat stack on that. There you go. <laughs>
So it's pretty intimidating. There's six of us. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally understand. You, is she gonna be with you on? No. Oh, you guys aren't doing it. No, okay. it's just a, just a six. Oh, yeah. So, like, so they're setting up, and then uh, Matt's telling his brother like what to do with the cameras, and then they immediately start fighting. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was just like, oh, this is what it's like. <laughs> The Espinosa family, they cannot get together without there being something. I mean, it's like six alphas in a room that's going to yeah, it's not going to happen. And then his dad comes in and his dad with a with a tight shirt on. And he's like, like, I see where I get it from. You know yeah, what I'm he, saying? Comes the tight in, he comes in and he's like, oh, you, get, you need me to move anything? What do we need to move? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What are we moving right now? You know what I mean? So this is a just a tripod that has nothing <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah. He was so ready to be like, is there a piano in here? <laughs> <laughs> is there some milk crates? Uh, something like I was like, get out of here, man. <laughs> it's just uh it's just gonna be a, an Espinosa Christmas, I'll tell you guys. Mm-hmm. That'd be a good uh title for a uh, something. A Christmas movie. Something. Yeah, Espinosa Christmas. An Espinosa Christmas. And we're like, what? Did you actually speaking of Christmas movies, you see that there was a um a, ho- a Christmas story, like they made a, a the next one to it. The oh yeah, sequel yeah, a sequel of, of him being older now. Yeah, you find out that he didn't have a good life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we knew that. <laughs> Tiny Tim died yeah, <laughs> from like, his, from scoliosis. Or whatever. <laughs> like, it's like the whole thing didn't work out. So Scrooge is like, I told you, <laughs> I told you, you gotta. Yeah, I um. What do you what do you think of them doing stuff like that? Like, if, if let's say ten years from now, even though we're talking now about a TV show like Workaholics, for instance, fifteen years later from now, they're just like, we want to make a movie about it, or we want to do a, well, a, another season of it. Of well, everyone I, older. I, it's funny that you say that because we are doing a Workaholics movie coming coming to Paramount Plus, and I think that there's like uh, they might even consider you know doing some sort of reboot, but not with them. Who do I need to arm wrestle to get an audition for that film? Ooh, well, I guess you're ethnic enough. You'd have to really play up to because they just, I don't know. Like, unfortunately, the times we live in right now, Workaholics couldn't be made right now. Oh, of course In the not. same way that it was. Which is interesting because it was a pretty recent show. You guys were right on the I cusp. know. Life changed like this. I mean, it's like, so you can't have like, oh, three straight white males working someplace, you know, stoner type guys yeah. who are like, you know, yeah, and doing all this like. You know, drinking, drugs, women, mm-hmm. boobs, and all this kind of. It's boobs. like, yeah. Now it'd be like they'd be like, oh my god, there's this frown. You know, we we yeah. need to have, you know, like it would if it came out again, it would be like an Asian guy, uh, mm-hmm. an Indian dude, and then maybe a white girl. That'd be like the new workaholics, so and we'd be just be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't. You're saying it wouldn't be the same cast. It wouldn't it? be the same type of thing. You know. Do you think um, the movie Mean? You know, have you seen Mean Girls? Yeah. You think Mean Girls could get made now? I wish it would. First of all, Mean Girls, one of my favorite movies of that genre of movie. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Like I if agree. I had to pick my top five, my top five of that genre of movie, mm-hmm. Mean Girls is number one. Okay. Uh, 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 Ten Things I Hate About You is number two. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. What? <laughs> I know. Heath Ledger, I haven't seen You've it. never seen Ten Things I Hate About You? No. Thanks for watching Jen to Jen, everybody. It's been awesome. My name is Matthew Espinosa. <laughs> this is Eric Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even do an intro. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew Espinosa, by and the way. this is Eric Griffin. And you're watching Jen to Jen. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. What, what, what if we actually did that? Like, we started an episode, and we we don't... Anytime we have a disagreement, we end it. We just end, end it. it right then and there. We don't allow ourselves to And then to it get... goes like six minutes, and people go, ah! Oh, oh, they're like man. holding on to it. Or they no, see already how long the episode is. Like, oh, how why dude, is it? You ten know? things I hate about you is so good like a classic like teen angst whatever movie and then number three would be clueless haven't seen clueless i can't believe you i can't believe you i can't believe you and then uh i lost my track Uh, oh legally blonde haven't seen legally blonde i just want to spit in his eye (laughs) specifically my eye yeah but after i eat like some hot wings (laughs) Just, <laughs> at that point, just put the hot sauce in my eye. <laughs> no, no, that's that'd weird. be too mean, huh? That's crossing the line, huh, Eric? No, 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 that's not. No, I, I wanted to be meaner and more disrespectful. Got it, got it. You wanted to hit my heart, just <laughs> yeah. not, not just I my eye. You want to hit I my heart too? I want you to see chicken pieces coming. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get an animator, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what's your fifth? You have Legally Blonde. Ten things I hate about wait, you. Wait, wait, no, no. I, uh, uh, mean, uh, girls. mean Girls. So all five, let's see, see, Mean Girls, 10 Things I Hate About You, Legally Blonde, um, what was the other one, Clueless, 
And what was number five? I know I had another Ice five. Age. No, it's like not another teen movie, I think. It was it was like I was gonna say not another teen movie is a good movie. Dude, Chris Evans is in that. Yeah. Not that's another, pr- that's pretty not gnarly. another teen movie is like uh but anyways, um, I didn't understand that movie growing because I didn't understand the satire make, of it. They can make Mean Girls again because it's Mean Girls, you know. Yeah, that's true. It's already yeah, going yeah. into girl, the concept. Girls, of girl, like, you know, it's like you can have white women because they think they're a minority. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, in some places, we they are. I know, but not in the way. That not in the they, way they're that presenting you, it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they made a Mean yeah, Girls could, too. That wasn't. Yeah, but it's, you, so you can't. You, you don't. Can't, you you can't need do. the same cast. What's your face is Lindsay Lohan just had a, something come out. I know Lindsay Lohan. It's a shame that her career got derailed by like personal things. And yeah. It's like, I hope and it's glad that she's doing well. Shout out to her. Yeah. If she's ever watches Jen to Jen, like, why are they talking shit about me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, she's fantastic. Like, you know what's a great movie? The one where she plays a twin. Parent Trap. Parent Trap. She's Great so film. good in Parent it's Trap. In, it's insane at her age. Yeah, that she that play. she did that. And then and what was great about it is she was actually two different people. Yeah, she genuinely like there wasn't a felt moment like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. She felt like, like two different characters. Mm-hmm. So she, that was great. Parent Trap's great. Um, and then yeah, she's just and then Mean Girls is just that's just a classic. Classic. Dude. You can't sit with us. You know? Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I made my girlfriend uh, give me some quotes because I, I we got into a conversation about Mean Girls the other day. I was like, "You oh, don't like I, Mean Girls." I would Girls. love to see that conversation. I was like, "I forget." Fight. Dylan was there. Why did we get? Do you know why we got into the conversation? You don't remember? We got into a conversation, and I, love, I was. I love how he doesn't. Like, he Mister Behind the Scenes. Like I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anybody to hear my he, voice. He's neutral. You yeah, know? <laughs> you never wanted to be a part of this. He probably he was probably the one talking smack. I was like, "What do you even do? What do you even do, man?" <laughs> Why are you going to the mall? Why? <laughs> to meet people? Who cares? <laughs> oh, when I had my meeting. Yeah, yeah, he was probably that guy. <laughs> Where are you even going? This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, oh. he actually was my bodyguard. He was one of the bodyguards. He was your bodyguard? Yeah. He's starting linebacker, bro. I guess a varsity, you know? You know how shocked I was to find out that he played football? <laughs> <laughs> And then he had his like highlight reel ready to go too. He's like, "Oh, yeah. dude, I play football." Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. It's like, oh man, it's ESPN highlights. Yeah, literally. You no, should have put that up on the on the episode. We did. Oh, you did. It oh, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you watch every episode. I I do because I gotta I gotta make sure it's, it's uh, okay. getting out right. Oh, that's and right because no. you're a control freak. But go on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were talking about Mean Girls, and I was like, "Give me some quotes of you know from Mean Girls." She's like, you can't sit with us. We wear pink on Friday or Wednesdays. Um, that's so fetch, but that's a layup. You don't say yeah. that's fetch. Like that's a layup. That's too easy of a. Stop quote. trying to make fetch happen. Or stop trying to make fetch happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I think it's gonna rain. <laughs> Gosh, that movie's so freaking yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, it's a good one. I don't know. If, I mean, they could possibly could make it again, but I don't know why. Why make it again? Just make something new. Yeah. So people are. I think people are afraid. mean boys. People. Are, well, that's what. That's what I want to do. You know how they. You know, you'd have all female Ghostbusters. Well, let's make mean boys. Yeah, let's make mean boys. <laughs> what you say? There's a mean girl too. Yeah, no, that's what we were saying. They just yeah, didn't. But it was good. different cast, and they just yeah. didn't. It's not the same. It didn't hit. That. It just didn't hit. They did the same thing. They, they made Clueless into a TV show. Oh, gosh. Yeah. How'd that they work? They had some of the same cast, but oh, not the cool. main girl. Oh. <laughs> Alyssa Silverstone. Oh. Which I just did a movie with her. Oh. A couple years ago, you know, and it was weird because I was like, oh, shit, it's Clueless. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's like when you know someone like that, you have that kind of like, you know, when, when something is so iconic like yeah. that. And shit, that was super iconic. I don't know if she's ever not been that. Mm. That was That's how iconic that was. It's so interesting because that's what I feel like it's there's no correct route with acting, which is so interesting. Like if you do a role too well in a TV show, you might get typecasted. If you do a role too well in a movie, that might end up being so big. Like we were at the game, we were, me and Dylan were at the Chargers game the other day and we saw Shooter McGavin up on the screen from Billy Matt or from Happy Gilmore. And immediately right when he hopped up on the screen, he was like, he did the Shooter McGavin thing. Obviously, since Happy Gilmore, he's had to have endless yeah. more credits. But well, the fact that that was the initial thing he knew to do is interesting because it's just, I don't know. It's interesting. Well, it's just There's, like Urkel, you know what Yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But he's a cool dude, you know? He's mm. like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like not even that. Yeah. Like people wouldn't even know. If they saw him now, he just, there's nothing about him that, you know. Unless that you screams just, Urkel. Yeah, unless you just know, you know? Yeah. But it's like, it's like, that's what, but it's okay. I mean, I feel like people are going to think I'm Montez for the rest of my life. 
some people, but then you might randomly, let's say, get a massive role that somehow exceeds any workaholics thing you've done. I just and don't think it's going to happen. Yes, people, it could. Don't no, say that. No, no, no. That's not what I'm, I'm not talking about the thing. No, I'm telling you, man, the people that love workaholics, what it means to them at that age range that they were at, that's always going to be that. Oh, yeah. That's a good way. It's just way like, to like if people like, you know, the people that like Friends, that's always going to be Chandler, Ross. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just who they are. What about Jennifer Aniston? Are Even they, when you see Jennifer Aniston, the really? first thing you think of is Friends. Really? I don't care what else she's ever done. She's a girl from Friends. That's just, it is what it is. Really? But it doesn't matter. It made them wealthy and famous beyond belief. That's yeah. not what happened for me with, <laughs> yeah. with a workaholics. But it's like, it is what it is. Kids yeah. see me and they're just like, oh man. And then because of the pandemic, people are finding those things for the first time. So I don't get it. I have no thing about it. And it, so even if I'm in something else, it's just fine. I want to do that. I, I have done that. And people are still like, that's, you know, that's their memory. You what know? if you're someone who's like an actor, though, who plays kind of an extended, exaggerated version of themselves? Like, for instance, uh, Don and I went to see Adam Sandler live, which mm -hmm. is, I, I want to talk about that too. One of the best shows ever. He brought out David Spade, Rob yeah, Schneider. Yeah, Rob yeah. Schneider has the voice of an angel, <laughs> by the way. I had no idea. Like, really, like, like he could be on the radio type saying, like, <laughs> like so freaking good. Um, anyways, he's had, you know, obviously, like, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Mr. Deeds, Big Daddy, yeah. you know, so many hits. And he's playing just... I feel like Adam Sandler almost like an extended version yeah, of himself. Yeah, that's what happens. Same great actors. Dude. Robert De Niro is Robert De Niro in every movie. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. what? So are people gravitating towards the feeling they get? Like when you see The Rock in a film, people are going for The Rock. Yeah. They're not going for the film, you know. And it's like it's so inter interesting. But then you have someone like Johnny Depp who's playing things like in Alice in Wonderland, who where he's completely a different role, and then he's in you know yeah, Captain but, Jack Sparrow, where he's completely yeah. But different. that's all. But but now though, but see, I did, I just disagree now when you see johnny depp all you think of is like you think of oh he only does weird things yeah like he's rarely like just but what about like the movie blow but but again that's okay but what i'm saying is and that's why you didn't even mention that one first well yeah because he wasn't anything he wasn't a crazy that's character what i'm saying that. yeah yeah yeah. But, but so i put all the crazy characters is all the same Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Factor. Wonka guy. Gosh, he They're did so the great guy. on that. Yeah. But I'm saying that those guys are all the same guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. but that when he plays just like a straight lace, whatever, it's like, I don't know. You know, it is what it is. Some people have to turn themselves into something different to really like pop. It's fine. Yeah. You know, like it's like they had the Lady Gaga, it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good, uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting because like, I'm just so like with with films and and all that. It's just so interesting to see how people maneuver through their like Will Smith is actually a good example too. He'll play himself in a lot of these roles, but in the film Concussion, for instance, he had a really good just different accent. I don't know what accent he was. He was listen. He's all but that. That's when that's actors like that are always chasing Oscars. That's yeah. what they do. They get to a certain point in their career, like uh, Tom Bat Brad Pitt, Pitt was trying this for years. Mm. It was like he did that seven years into Snatch. That. And those kind of, you know, and that, snatched too. Yeah, but that wasn't for, uh, that was just him being funny. But I'm saying, like, they always have some passion project that is going to be like, this is going to be the one that's going to show people what a great actor I am and I'm going to get recognition for this. Yeah. That's just what happens, you know. But, you know, Will Smith has always had this, like, he's got that it factor. Yeah. There's only, I can't, there's maybe five people that have that thing. Tom Cruise has it and Will Smith has it. And I can't think of too many other people that got that thing. I think Bieber has it. Well, let's talk about just actors. Okay. Tom Cruise, Will Smith. I think do you think Leo has it? No. What? No, 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 no. And I'm not I'm talking about, dude. You listen. don't think he has that thing? No, no. He does not have he's a great actor in the same way that Pacino, De Niro, and he's those a, type he's of a actors. Good book actor. Yeah, he's a, he's, By the book, he's no, an he's actor. a great actor. No, I'm talking about star power. I'm talking about X Factor. There's something that Tom Cruise has that like it's undeniable, man. It's magnetic. It's like when he's on the screen and he's doing something, the the commitment, the whatever he is, he got it. Denzel Washington got something. Denzel like that. Washington's got, got it. it like, bro. like when That's Denzel comes on the screen and he is announcing himself as whatever it is, detective, cop, bad guy, good guy, whatever it is, as soon as he does it. 
I'm, I'm on board. I'm in. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, on board. Okay. You got it, Denzel. Okay. You that, we're, we're with you. Mm-hmm. Some people just have like, some people we like. Some people we like, like Keanu Reeves. We love Keanu Reeves. We love him. We just love him. We love so him. So whatever he's in, if he's Neo, if he's like, you know, John Bill and Wick. Ted, if he's John Wick, there's something about him being like whatever this thing is that we just go, okay, I like mm-hmm. this. I'm on board with you. Yeah. But it's not great acting. Like like Neo, Neo, like the whole movie, he's, he's very one dimensional. He's asking questions that the audience is asking. So he would be like, what is this? And we would be like, <laughs> Yeah. What, what is, is this? this? <laughs> and then the other actors would be like, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Then we'd be like, oh, okay. Thanks, Neo. Thanks, <laughs> Neo. <laughs> yeah, we're getting it from him. So yeah, you're asking I'm the saying, peanut but, gallery questions. But I'm talking about that 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 sort of like dynamic star power, box office opening, smash. You know, there's very few people that have, have had that over the years, you know. I would like to Tom say Tom Hanks. I feel like Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, ha- bro, hundred percent. He lost it, but he there what? was a certain point that yeah, you you wouldn't. What about Elvis? If Tom Hanks comes out with a well, this is what we're talking about. Now, that's different. No, no, Elvis was that was terrible, man. What he was doing in that was terrible. That, I, I'm not with you on that. That accent, whatever the hell he was doing, I was like, what is this? But anyways, there's like you know you talk about a person comes out with a movie, yeah, and you want to go see the movie no matter what because of them. There are very few stars like that even anymore. They just they don't exist anymore. There are hmm. very few people that they, they, they come out with a movie that we're going to go out to the theaters and drugs. Yeah. There's, there's not no, many movie stars anymore. There's no more any movie Jennifer stars. Jennifer Anderson was just had an interview about that. There's she was no saying how there's stars, no, there's no, no action yeah. movie stars. There's no, there are very few. Until. Just give me a couple. What are you? you I'm have a pointing. Pimple. No, I'm pointing it. <laughs> you? Just give, me, give, me, give me a couple years. All right. Give me a couple. We'll give you a couple years. You know? We're we, we going to bring it back. I'll just I'll just refer to that your the look on your brother's face. <laughs> what do you say? He gonna be in the films with me? No, what are you talking about? He's gonna be getting coffee. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he's gonna be in the films with me. What do you mean? Is I'm he, I'm Adam Sandler. My career in the credits is gonna be assistant to <laughs> <laughs> assistant to Matthew Espinosa. <laughs> no, already A and B somebody. I was able to put Kristen and Bernie in it really quickly, even though that was just a really small part. You'd see Kristen and Bernie. Yeah. In it, you know, like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Adam Sandler, the crap out of my career, bro. All right, I'm telling you, you better get it going. You're 25. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I've already done a few things. You know, I'm trying. It, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler didn't come you'll up be, with. His, you're almost 26. Yeah, Adam Sandler didn't come out with his like a lot of hits, so he was like 27, 28. Yeah, there you go. Well, then that's you know? something to look for. So, but and, there, were, but then there were guys like that had that comedically thing too, and he's one of those Will people. Ferrell. What about Will Ferrell? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Come on. I don't know, man. I, I, Will Ferrell sometimes reminds me of like, he reminds me of like, like okay, so you have like a Tupac song, right? Uh, and then there's like, a, Tupac have one of his friends come on and rap for like a bar. And you're like, ooh, that's good. But when you hear that guy's whole album, you'll be like, mm, that, <laughs> that's how I feel about Will Ferrell. Why was that weirdly specific? <laughs> but like, I kind of. I, I like Will Ferrell in people's movies. Mm. And when he comes in, it's a killer. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a killer. Like, yeah. st- whatever it is. Yeah. And he's great also with a partner, like stepbrothers. I was going to say stepbrothers. And, uh, when he has a, a good when he person has Wes's to jump. name with him. He's with somebody come up. But John C. Riley. Just him by himself and you don't know the other people. I don't know. Yeah. Well, going back to what you were talking about, Elvis. So I, and I want to hear your opinion on, do you saw all of Elvis? The movie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was starting to watch it on the plane ride back over to LA last week and I was like 15 minutes in and no hate to this artist, but I hear Doja Cat jump on and I'm all, I within 30 seconds, I click the movie off and I love Doja Cat. I love when I, hey, I love Doja Cat. Yeah, but it's, and I uh, heard her jump come into a song. That's a period piece. No, no, no. But that's I'm a, out. Yeah, I'm but, out. Yeah, because you didn't. You didn't. It uh, took me out. No, you. I felt like I was in 1970. Now I feel like I'm in no, 2022. No, but you because you didn't believe in the, the 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 film creators' artistic vision they were doing. It, it was a purpose. They did it on purpose. But I don't think they believed that Elvis was going to be good unless they had someone like like that was just some no, person was, in marketing who was like, oh, let's put that song to get all the Doja Cat you, fans. You've you never just, seen uh uh what's that? What was that period piece show on HBO that everybody on Netflix that everybody was watching? Um, uh, it was like oldie time, you know, British kind of looking with the black guy, 
Be- Bever- 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 Beverton, what, what was it? Oh, Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they, ne- I never what, saw it. That's what they did in Bridgerton. What? So in Bridgerton, it, when did it t- take so place? In, so in Bridgerton, it's like, you know, 12th century, whatever, you know? So in Bridgerton, they're, they're at a, a, a ball, you yeah. know, when everybody's got the big hair and the big dresses, and they're playing like Miley Cyrus. What? But, but like, no, no, but it's, but it's with like violins and stuff like that. So you're listening and you're like, what song? I know that song. You know, and then it's like you realize it's like a, a modern song that they demodernized, <laughs> but but that's a it's an artistic choice. But like, I feel like if they felt like this was going to be a massive film, they would try to like I would have a song that takes place in 1970. They had plenty you of in, that. No, they Elvis's did for sure. Music. No, for sure. Again, you're but just the fact, you're, what you're saying is you don't agree with the the movie creator's artistic because I, choice. I know it wasn't about artistic. I yes, know it was. I know it was about the fact that it was a pop in song, and they do that all the time. They have the the, the, whole the movie hottest. had that. You didn't even finish watching. You're right. I did the it. Whole, <laughs> the whole movie had that. There was songs like that throughout the whole movie. Yeah, it just like in, in a normal film, I get it. In a period piece film, that's trying to absolutely like. Throw me in this world of 1960 to 1970. That's like, not what they were doing. They were te- see. You, that's why you need to watch the movie. But it's like that's not what they were doing. Why does it say 1970 and I hear a Doja Cat song? Like I'm sorry, I just don't agree with that. Well, all right. And I know that wasn't the director's choice. There's no way that was yes, the director's was. choice. That was the. I said movie creator. Did I say director? Anyway, can we go to the court minutes? <laughs> can we read back the court minutes? <laughs> Oh, look, the court minutes are there. <laughs> Did not say director. I said the movie creator. Okay? So the, the creators, whoever, the producers, this is their vision. It could The director could have possibly been involved, probably, because the dude was like, he's big into this kind of stuff. I'm saying it was an artistic choice. And... I think that artistic choice was on a foundation of well, let's get as many younger you audience people to go. Because anyone under 20 doesn't whole... even probably know who Elvis is. Well, that then they're they're just dumb. I mean, or they're just not <laughs> cultured. You know what I'm saying? They just don't well, know you, about if it. If you would watch the whole movie. But if you hear that, the new Doja Cat songs in it, you're going to rush to it. No, that's not true at that, all. You're telling me right now that if they don't you, do that for if that? If you had watched the whole movie, you might have a different opinion. So why don't you watch the whole movie and then go, oh, I see what they're saying, what they were doing throughout the movie. Or you could be like, oh, I agree with my original assessment. But 15 minutes of the movie, you can't tell me. You, you, you can't assess the movie because of that. Well, that allows me to transi- transition into this. We actually have a private screening of Elvis. Come on in, guys. We're going to watch it together on Gen 2 Gen. No, I'm just joking. Oh, what? <laughs> Who are you yelling at? Your mom's going to come in here. Are we watching a movie? <laughs> <laughs> the screen comes down and all that. Um, no, but I don't know. I, I just, if I were to make a period piece, like even if it's a fictional story that happens in 1970, 1980, I would want to fully submerge the audience in this if that's Period your artistic piece. choice, then that that's is- your artistic, artistic choice. But, you know, one thing you have to start to like, you don't have to like people's artistic vision, but you need to recognize it. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. a good way to look at it. Yeah. It's a good you, way. You know what I mean? So, because you've put your own definition of what you think was happening, as opposed to like seeing the whole thing. I mean, sometimes, you know, and, and, and by the way, there is an element of... Yes, there's like let's modernize this for people that don't know. Mm-hmm. But I'm still saying there is an artistic choice to it. There's a lot of bigger vision, you know. All Elvis, I'm saying is Elvis that they was, wouldn't have put that Doja Cat song in if she wasn't the top ten biggest artist right now on the planet. But that, but that doesn't mean that that's bad. I know, no, I get it. They're trying to get more younger people to go see the film. I get it, I, and I it wasn't I, the worst song. It's a good song. I just didn't think it was. The you right needed to watch piece. the whole movie, and then you because that's when Doja that. Cat comes in at the end and saves Elvis. You know, that's... I don't know, <laughs> but it's like it's like well, I, I mean, I wouldn't watch that movie again for many other reasons. But it, it is what it is, you know. It's How like, do you think Austin Butler did? Um, I thought he did a great job. He was like very much became a different person, you know. And it's a hard story to tell because there's a lot of things about Elvis that people don't want to talk about. Yeah. There's a lot of things that the family probably did, weren't going to sign off on. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, b- 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 his wife was 14. <laughs> what? Yeah. People don't want to talk about. <laughs> How old was he? He was he was he was not 14. He wasn't 17. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Bro, what? Yeah, man. He was like he when he started seeing her, she was, you know, she was young. This is like, you know, this was not frowned upon back in the day. <laughs> 
Bro. I'm saying there was a lot of things about Elvis that was like, you know, he was like, he was out there. Like, there's a scene in the movie that was like, oh, that's funny. I was, I was watching this movie with, with Rachel. Is this going to ruin it for me? No, it's not. And he's like, wait, we want to make sure we get. So, <laughs> so I'm watching Elvis with Rachel, and then this scene comes on where, like, Elvis is like, you know, people loved him. You know, he had that thing, too. Yeah. Dylan was just showing me some videos. Like, girls actually were going crazy over Elvis. No, bat shit. Okay, like, crazy. And then, but he would go out, and he would kiss him. What? Yeah, yeah. He would go out, like, he would he would walk around, and he'd be like, the, the elder. he would be like, mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. he would give women, like, real kisses. And then, you know, Rachel's watching this. He's like, you better not be doing that in your company. I said, you think I, this is not the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just babe, asking. This ain't the same, babe. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like when you start off, like, talking to the crowd, you're just like, so what are you guys? Like, you're talking to the relationship, yeah, like, oh, like, you guys aren't dating? Okay. Yeah, no, but it didn't even matter to him. And I can't, because there's a scene where his wife is in the crowd watching him as he, and you know, he just, he loved, it, it felt like the impression from the movie, too, is like, you know, he, he loved being Elvis, you know? Yeah. You know, he loved, like, you know, the, 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 the adoration, the thing that he got. I mean, you, I mean, who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't love that, like, that you inspire people to, like, lose their senses? Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. So, like, I don't know anybody that wouldn't like get lost in that, you know. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you know, I, 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 he was being, he was living a rock star life. Yeah, let's just say that. Yeah, I, I've that's never why it even didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen many video. I've never until I think Dylan showed me a video of him performing. I, I'd seen only clips of it, but I saw a thing of he would have on this like white type scarf or whatever. This like like um, just like a white scarf almost, yeah. you know, like just like a little fabric. And there's a guy following him around. He would have it on. He'd flick the flick the scarf at someone. And girls would be like, ah, they'd grab it. And then immediately the guy would put another one on him. Elvis would be like, flick it off again. And then another guy, the guy would put it right. Like he had just, yeah. it was, I've never even seen that from an well, artist. Well, he was like, like, you know, like I say, man, you have to also remember too that at the time, there was much more like religious pressure about, you know, uh, you know, living the right way and mm -hmm. there was like there was like a racial component to it because he was singing this music that that was deep rooted in jazz and blues and like that kind of stuff he was very much a lover of that type of music mm -hmm. you know and and the, and the movie also portrayed it in a way that you felt that as opposed to there's a lot of sentiment of like well Elvis stole you know he was stealing from black people, yeah. and no, I, I, the movie presented it as no, he was celebrating that Celebrate, music. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So it's just like you know he had that, and so you with all that going on in society too, and you're you're at home, you know, you're especially for girls at the time probably that they were all like repressed and couldn't you know couldn't go out, couldn't do certain things because they, mm -hmm. you know was frowned upon. Mm -hmm. And then here's this guy up here just you know exuding sex and. M masculinity and they just were like yeah you know what yeah. i mean mm -hmm. so you know i don't know if we've even seen anything like that i mean the, the next person like that that i could Prince? think of was like michael jackson hmm. people were going people were fainting when they would see michael jackson like fainting yeah. like, i feel like, like there's not out. even like pop stars anymore how there's not many actors it's because of the internet yeah the internet like yeah. It, and it's I, and not I, the internet don't make you famous it's anti-fame well, internet just gives people like followers that are. Someone just said this the other day. They said, um, "Your fans on social media are rented." Well, it's not even just that. To me, what happens with with social media? Social media is a big town crier, and they go like this. They go, "Hey, everybody, look at that guy," and then everybody looks, and now it's up to you to keep their attention. Mm -hmm. But it's not the social media itself that makes people famous. Because the spotlight then becomes on you all the time. It's not even just specific to like my just, talents. Just when you're doing your talent stuff, mm -hmm. it becomes they're focused on you about everything. So it's really anti fame. And so the person that the people that can like overcome that and still maneuver through that, that these people now that 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 it's it's absolutely amazing. Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, the Kardashians, like uh, those people that have like the amount of followers that you just go, oh, my God, this kind of influence yeah. is like beyond me. Like I don't mm -hmm. even like 
I'm not even necessarily a fan of these people like that. But when you go on their Instagram or whatever, and you're like, wow, like Selena Gomez has 200 million followers. Yeah. Like you just you just go, what does that translate to? Yeah. Like what is that really like? What is the power of that? You yeah. know, I mean, dude, Cristiano Ronaldo just hit 500 million Instagram followers. He's the first person ever at 500 oh million. Oh my god! You're telling me you have half a billion people. Half a billion people have clicked follow. That I is know. unheard of. But it's like, you know, when you you do that and then, but then you just get, you know, you put up a post. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd believe all this. Yeah. If like he put up a post and he got 300 million likes. Yeah. But it's never that. Yeah. No way. You know, it's like he, he does a post and it'll be like, and you go, well, that's his real followers. Yeah. Of, yeah. That's sure. what I always say. Even if like, you know, even if we were to go to. You know, you know what I mean? Like even at even at its best, you know, like if I were to go to like say, even for instance, uh um Selena Gomez's uh Instagram account right now, if if your dumb internet will allow it for me, you know? This guy. <laughs> if I go to the so she has three hundred and fifty eight million followers. Fifty eight million followers. Yeah, what's so her, if I what's go her to, last post saying? So if I go to her first post, she has five million likes. You know, Reese. That's the most recent one. Yeah, most recent post has five million likes. If I go down to like just pick a random one, you know, this one only has a million likes. I go to another post, two hundred. I mean, I mean, two million twenty, two million six hundred thousand likes. You know, what I'm saying is, that's that to me is like a weird thing. Yeah. Like I don't know why that is. So it's like, yes, you go, oh, I'm gonna follow her, but then you like, are you really a fan? That's what I mean. It's like it's up to her to grab. So, so it's, what's what I'm saying? So, the internet has allowed 500 million people for for her for almost 500 million people to go. Hey, look at Selena Gomez. So, 500 million people look, and only only five million of them go. All right, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> But and, and the others are but just that's not, like, But a lot of times they're not following her for an Instagram post. They're following her because she has a big song coming out. And then if you look at her numbers no, on I, Spotify, that's that's where no, a lot I, of the numbers I, I, are. No, I get that. I understand. But I'm saying it's like let's not look to social media as an example of uh-huh. how fame is being used. Well, like yeah. it's, it's not. But but at, at the same time though, that's still a, a, a tremendous number of people. Mm-hmm. So if you're a business, if you're a producer now, if you're like anything, you're just like. Yo, Selena Gomez, uh, can you, uh, you know, I, I, I make a glass glasses cleaner. Can you like, can you use it on your on a post with your glasses? Yeah, because that it, it just translates to like then that's how you're getting in front of, you know that, that. So I get the business model, I get the thing, but it's like mm-hmm. I just want people to understand that it's like when that eye is on you like that, you're now, now it's up to you to you're either gonna lose it or capitalize on it. Yeah, or it's gonna bring you down. Yeah. Uh, and know? like you said, when the town crier is like, hey, everyone, go look at that person. And everyone's looking at you. You're like, uh, okay, uh, uh, social media is so quick. And you're like, I, I, I only have these eyes for a little bit. Oh, uh, should I do backflip? You do backflip. And yeah. some people are like, that was cool. I kind of like that. You're like, oh, you like that? Okay, uh, I, I, I can juggle. You I can, know, and then, no, then but then that's not what it. happens. What y'all do, and I'm putting you in this, is like you do the backflip. Yeah. And then everybody goes, we love it. And then you go, now I got a backflip all the time. And now every post is like, well, no, that, I'll backflip it again. No, no, but that's, that's <laughs> the backflip guy. No, no, but that's what I was getting at. So people will then start doing something that wasn't even authentically them in the first yeah. place just to get those views. And then next thing you know, someone's like, oh, okay, we're kind of done with the backflips now. You did it for a year. You milked it as much as you could. You got anything else in the vault? I'm like, I, I, mean, I can juggle. Yeah. And then only maybe a million people as opposed to the five million do it. And then like next thing you know, now everyone on the internet is they're always switching up this. I'll, I'll go on the internet and I'll see someone's bio. I'll be like, singer, songwriter, mathematician, geologist, astrophysicist, <laughs> baker, chef, this, that, writer, director, producer, actor, singer. You know, it's just all these different things. I'm like, you're just throwing anything at the wall at this point. You hey, know, it's it cool it that is. you can, you know, try all these different things. I just things. think, like, even, even as somebody that follows, like, if you even look at the people, I mean, it's not even the people's fault. I'm just saying, like, the nature of it. Like, you know, if I look at my own, like, if I look at my own people, I follow, I'm following 1,900 people. That's crazy. You know, I don't know. That's crazy. I barely look at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now, there's a crazy part about it, too, now. So now it's not even like my when I go to my Instagram now and I'm looking to see who's here. 
Like, this ain't even my followers sometimes now. People mm-hmm. I follow. Yeah. Like, this thing that shows up on Instagram. Yeah, I'll sometimes see other people's even my, posts. It's not even my... I'm like, I don't follow this person. Yeah. So, like, they're not even letting you see your followers. Yeah. So or the, your following. Your following. Yeah. So, the fact that who I'm following, they're not even showing me that. Well, that's partially why Selena Gomez, for instance, might not be getting those views. Because I... Would, but this is what I'm saying. So, that's the crazy part that even through all that, she's still managing to get 5 million people to be like... I like that picture. But if you look at a percentage, <laughs> some most people have like, let's say like three to five percent engagement yeah, rate yeah. on a lot of the things. That's not even three to five percent engagement That's rate. What That's what I'm saying. Like but it point, don't matter at a certain but number. At that certain, yeah, once you yeah, have yeah, 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 so yeah. and so many. And like it, it's so random. Because like, what's I, better? What's better if you have 100,000 followers? Let's say you only have 100,000 followers. What's better to have, so you, you tell somebody, well, 75,000 of my 100,000 are engaging with me. Or five million of three hundred and fifty million. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you gotta just you, you, yeah, you know. For sure. Oh, yeah, that percentage is great, but like, I kind of want to reach five million people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. I mean, and it's so random too. Like, there's people, and this is what's cool about like TikTok and 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 now I guess Instagram. But I just had a video a few months ago uh, get eighty five plus million views, and I only have five. I yeah, I've. I have five point something million on, on Instagram or four point eight. I forget. Um, but regardless, it's crazy what type of videos go viral. It's like the more effort you put into it, the less it goes viral. I know, but it's crazy to me how you still haven't figured it out. I, do, I, I haven't. I haven't. Figured I don't know, it man. Out. I told you about that video I put up about like, I was just recording uh, Dr. Strange on my screen and the extra was acting up in the background. Mm-hmm. And so I just put up a thing on Facebook, extras being extra. And I'm filming her on the screen and I'm talking like, Ooh, look at me. I'm in the scene. I got over 20 million views on that on Facebook. Dang. You, know you know had I mean? monetized. Yeah. Oh, I made a, a fat stack on that. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, multiverse. Yeah, or, or no, you know thanks, I mean? uh, yeah, whatever, Doctor Strange. Yeah, you know, so it's like it is. That's what I'm saying. So you never know what it, what what the thing. That's why that's not something that you know. It's like when people like I, I don't believe in like you know so internet famous, social media famous. It's it really just is like it's just giving people. You know, people are like okay. It's almost like an American Idol audition every single time. Yeah, you put up a post, and with every how fast time. it is, it's just not. Like, there's a new person having a number one hit single on iTunes every single day. Like, and I'm just like, who are these people on the radio? There's just, it's just weird. Music is in a weird place right now. Actors and filmmakers in general is in a weird place. There's just not traditionally like those big. No, I. Like, where is the next Drake? Okay, well, I, I, I challenge you on this. I don't think it's in a weird place. I just think it's like, I think you're thinking of it as an artist being like, am I ever going to be able to achieve the fame of that or the riches of whatever? It's in a weird place. I don't think so. I think it's just in a different place. It's the, there's, more access, there's more access to music. More artists are being able to reach more fans. It's just like what's happening is it's like it's, it's, it's not as exclusive anymore. So before it would be like, you know, and even someone like Drake who is continuously putting out music because he has to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. It's not like Drake could put out an album and then wait five years. No, he got to put out an album and then he's back in the studio to put out another album and another album because that's his Well, actually like Taylor Swift and Adele, I feel are have that power still for sure. But but they, even then, no, I'm I'm, out to what you were saying. I wanted to challenge you on that where Adele could chill for four years, make another album and, it will be number one, and that's it because, will be. and that's because of why. I don't know. She's great. <laughs> yeah, but so is like Drake. The, but is it because of the? Is it because of rap, the genre? Yeah, I think so. Because rap is Very faster. Much. Yeah, yeah. People, the people, you rap get, is trendy more. Dude, Drake is a few years away from people being like, he's gonna be over, sitting over there with Jay Z. Yeah, know? you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it's not like you think, oh, he's not good. Look, this happens to like. You, you know, him greatest example of this, female rappers. Female rappers, it's like, who's the big one? It goes like that. It was Foxy Brown. About before that, it was the brat. Then it was Foxy Brown. Then you have Nicki Minaj. I haven't heard of the first two. I know, I know you haven't, but this is how it goes. It, yeah. They can never all be big at once. So Well, I mean, I feel like Nicki Minaj, Lizzo, Megan the Stallion, Cardi B, they're all pretty big right now. Doja not, Cat. Not like there's there's always a top of the pyramid. 
So it was Nicki Minaj for a few years, mm-hmm. and then she's still there. She's still she's up there. But then it became it was what's her face, um, Cardi B. Cardi B. Then Cardi it was, B it, came out of nowhere. Everything was Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Cardi B. Yeah, that's going away now. She's still around, but not like not like it. You know, not like it was. Yeah, now the, it's um, now it's Megan Thee Stallion, and yeah. that's only lasting for a second. It's yeah. not as big. It's, she's only gonna last for a second, man. You have a couple of big hits, whatever it is like that. To have that sustainability, it's hard. Well, yeah. And now, now she's, you know, now you have Doja Cat. She had a little bit of internet stuff where she like, uh, you know, was flirting with the kids. So now it's like they're waiting for the next. That's how it goes with music. Music is like, what's next? What's next? What's next? Yeah. People, we get sick of hearing people sound. We do. We get, we really like, we hear after a while, we just go, okay, I'm, I'm kind of done with that. I'm, I'm done with that person. It's so interesting. Not that we hate it. We're just kind of like. So do you think artists right. need to innovate more and change up their just sound and genre and know. try different things? Like, I, I have no idea, but, but it so does interesting. happen. It does happen. One thing I like about Drake, my favorite thing about Drake is I don't listen to the hits. Like yeah. when I listen to Drake, I don't listen to the hits because I go, oh, I get it. That's a fun song, whatever. Drake is at his best. Like, there's a song on this one album. It's called The Remorse. When he's just on a beat and he's just like talking po- and rapping, poetically talking about yeah. some stuff, that's when he's at his best. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? I that's agree. Best. I'm, not in, I'm not into the whole big hits type yeah. thing because I know there's a million writers on that. There's a million producers, a million ghostwriters, all these it's different just, people. It is, it's for radio. You yeah, know? It's, it's a radio hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that. Those are great too, but it's like it's like him. It's like same thing with like someone like J. Cole. You know, you listen to J. Cole. I love J. Cole. But J. Cole is another one that like – he he was caught into, but he talks about it himself. He's like, I had to make a radio track because you know, Jay Z was like, well, well, how are we gonna sell records? You know what yeah. I mean? You know, he. But these other tracks, you're just like, oh man, this dude is brilliant, right? Yeah. Literally. So what I'm that saying, conscious rap is really. So what I'm saying is like, really you know, good. I think that it just goes like that. So when you have somebody who's like great, like Adele is great, she's great. Yeah. So she's saying, I'm. T- I need to take my time to do this type of stuff. Yeah. And so she takes her time and she comes out with her album. They're all numbered. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Whatever that weird thing she chose, an artistic choice that I don't like. Wait, really? They're numbered. It. What do you mean? Yeah, all her albums are like they're called like her album's twenty five. Then the next album was twenty. The first before that was twenty four. Oh, maybe because she dropped it at that age. I don't know, but it's I, a thing I think, she's I th- doing. I think that's I think that's what she's. But doing. it's a thing she's doing. That's her thing. I mean, there's there's that's a caliber though to be up there. Her and a, a, a Taylor Swift and Adele, bro. Taylor Swift hadn't draw hadn't gone on tour in a few years, and I went on Twitter a few days ago and I saw everyone freaking out like, oh my gosh, I'm in the queue, I'm in the queue, and I'm like, what is everyone freaking talking about? And I like go to the trending and I'm like, oh, everyone's in queue right now to try to get Taylor Swift presale tickets because she's on tour. I did a little re- a little bit of research. In some of the cities, bro, she had 20,000 some odd people waiting in a queue to try to get tickets. After doing more research, I found out that she, if you took everyone who was waiting in a queue to buy tickets to, for Taylor Swift show, she would have been able to sell out over 920 arenas with all the people that were waiting I in know. queue. 920 arenas. Yeah, she's got that thing. Ten, dude, millions of people were trying to go to her show. Yeah. That is like, that's star power. That's like. Thank you. That's, it's See? just. He's already ready to be the assistant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Yeah. Yeah, she's got that. Again, she's one of those people that got that thing. But I'm yeah. saying is like, I just think there are certain genres of music, man, that it just, you know, you just go, all right. All right. That's why it's like a comeback album or whatever kind of thing. But, yeah. you know, when you're in that thing, like, like Drake is in the cycle right now. He's in that thing. He's got to. I gotta keep going, keep going. He goes, and he tries to reinvent himself. Yeah, he it's has. Like, there's like there's albums where you just go, what is this? Yeah, I mean, he just did an album recently. I was like house type music. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's like this produced by Carnage, and he's and he's just kind of like he don't care. Yeah, he doesn't. People care. are like he's like whatever. I'll still give you this other. So it's like what I'm saying is like that's really truly being an artist. Yeah, like where you just can like you know you're you know whatever it is, but it's like everything has a certain life, a shelf life of being like on top. Yeah. Not everybody's going to stay on top, man. Yeah. It just doesn't work like that. Even even with music and acting, it's just so different of like what people do. And a lot of it's luck. Being in the right place at the right time, a lot of it is luck. Like Drake got lucky to be with the right producers who know the correct sound to have. Like, I mean, he's just a genius in his own you know, merit. Yeah. So we have to give him that. But I mean, it's a lot of it is luck and just God's timing. And it's just, yeah, it's it's. Pretty wild to see, and I, I like you know. said that 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 it factor Drake just had it. 
I think yeah. Drake has that factor to him. Yeah, there's something about him too. He's like he's engaging and funny, and, and he's nice. You know, he's he got, seems approachable. Yeah, like anytime I, I like when I first met him, I it, it was just a very approachable person. Like I've been in the room with some bigger rappers before that I'm like I'm not going up to you, <laughs> even though it's a very intimate setting and I couldn't. It wouldn't be weird. I'm not going up to this person. I feel like I will get just swung on by their entourage <laughs> just by looking at them. I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry. Oof, I'm sorry. I can't stand I entourages. Like it's, it is what it is. I guess yeah. you have to have an entourage. What? I guess people are like, you know, when you get certain, I mean, I would want an entourage if I'm at that level. I got pe- I need to have some people looking out for me. Like, yeah, you, know, you always got to have your guard up at that rate. You it's know, it's weird. You just don't want a lot of. You don't want a bunch of yes men around you, though. That's yeah. That it's it's a, a balance. You need people Maybe who are like, yo, couple. you're tripping, bro. Like, yeah, calm down. Yeah. Like, you need someone to like ground you. That's why I I don't really have many people like that aside from my family because my family ain't afraid to tell me, bro, yeah, you're tripping. That's why like, they're not a good entourage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they tell me You're walking into the mall and your mom's like what's up with your hair <laughs> what's up with your hair i'm like mom and your brothers are like what are we doing here <laughs> <laughs> well i feel like that's a yeah i think so too i feel like that's a good way to uh or a good place to end this episode thank you to everyone who's been watching be sure to leave your favorite comment or comment your favorite part Oh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think there are any more big actors or big movie stars, big, yeah. you know, pop stars? And if so, who? I'm, I'm curious. Who are you guys listening to? What's what, what, who's an who actor has a mass, that Because you, you think who has mass appeal. Like, it's fine. Like, there are people, because I think of it like podcasting. There are, like, some very huge podcasts, and those podcasters are rich now. They make millions of dollars. Like, Tim Dillon. Yeah, yeah, Tim yeah. Dillon has over, he gets over 200000 a month yeah. from Patreon. Okay, That's so. Crazy. But there are people out there who don't have any idea who he is it don't matter to him because he's now made a great living with his fan base yeah. what i'm seeing is who are the people that transcend it all yeah that everyone knows oh that's so and so from what you call it i mean because mm-hmm. now we live in a world where the internet has helped with that in a sense of that yeah you could just carve out your own niche and you could just do it mm-hmm. and musicians are doing that now too that's what i'm saying like yeah. they have their own fans that they can go through their shows but who's like doing taylor swift yeah even if you like her or not you go oh that's taylor Swift. and she was still rooted in the old generation yeah, yeah, of yeah. music like she performed at my older siblings high school Back then, because they won this contest of how many people can send in entries or something like that. So she's been doing it for 10 plus years. So I'm I'm curious who you guys think would be a pop star that transcends that has come out within the last six years. Yeah. Five years. Hip, not, hip us to someone so we can like look them up. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious too. So get them on the pod before they get too big. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. My name is Matthew Espinosa. This is Eric Griffin. And you've watched another episode of... Gen to Gen. I feel like everybody's saying it at the same time. Yeah, they're all together, you know. <laughs> all right, everyone. We got it. We're going to get you a better. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You're right. And I know you won't get it by the next episode, but I'm going to bug him about it again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>